In this corner, we have a mostly by the numbers protagonist who had one or two really strong moments. Facing off in the other corner, a antagonist who is really bland but had one or two decent moments. A true match of titans for the ages. Hello everyone, I am here to talk about Will Dress episode 12. Why? Because I had a lot of stuff come up this week and had not had a chance to record or realize that Will Dress season 3 is 13 episodes, not 12. So my pain must continue and it's already Wednesday and I want to keep to trying to get at least one video out a week. So here we are. Here we fucking are. Yeah, this episode was not really much of anything. Do I have 10 minutes worth of talking points? I don't know. Come and join this journey with me, everyone. Maybe we'll just kind of criticize and talk about Yu Yu for a little bit. But yeah, let's just get right on into the episode. This episode begins with our final fight about to happen. It is Yu Yu versus the dumb, uninteresting AI. And he goes up and you see everyone watching. The whole world is watching this card fight, including being watched by several main characters who were supposed to be way more important than any of the other side characters they are now stuck with. But yeah, Yu Yu goes up to face Giyu. Uh, is it Giyu or Giyu? Who fucking gives a shit? Uh, but effectively, Yu Yu is going up, and he has this really strange monologue that I think kind of highlights the big problem with him, which I think we'll get into a little later. But so he goes up, and... I kept thinking to myself, because I don't really pay attention to the episode preview, so I don't know if we saw the glasses or not. We probably didn't. I didn't notice. I've been wondering for a while now how Yu Yu was going to have his big final fight with the AI. And the big ideas I thought of was, well, the obvious one is just Jinky will do it again. Uh, maybe Giyu, like, forces Jinky against his will, or he's already, like, got him under, like, control or something. Like, that'll be kind of creepy, right? Well, no, they're not doing that. Giyu is just... Uh, but the jinky is just sitting there doing nothing maybe they'll make it that um uh yu yu has to put the barrettes on and the fight has to be in yu yu's mind for some reason maybe that could be kind of interesting uh maybe sort of seeing what this thing can do when it like unleashes full power on somebody could be like a really interesting set of stakes for you you'd have to fight through and maybe you could get even more creepy and existential and like now they can just broadcast what's going on in you use head to the whole world that could be kind of fun what do they do they literally just make it oh you can just wear these glasses and it's there for some reason also side note glasses look kind of silly i'm not gonna lie they look more like safety goggles and I feel like Yu Yu and the gang is just about to go like turn on the wood chipper and like take care of a brush pile in the backyard. I don't really feel that these look cool or interesting. They're not as cool as dual gazers, basically. Uh, but yeah, so then the fight starts and it's just kind of what you expect it to be. It's a lot of turns of just like setting things up, uh, kind of like one big turn with multiple crits versus like multiple uh, crossover dresses that don't really do anything. Ultimately concluding with our, um, naturally we got to set up the big over trigger turn because of course Yu Yu wouldn't beat him in time. And so now he's going to trigger the over trigger and it ends on the cliffhanger of what's Yu Yu going to do. Except it's the brand gate over trigger. So let's just assume he's got one to two perfect guards in hand. <laughs> Why are you not using the dragon empire one? You scrub, you get a restanding Vanguard or better yet you shaman king. I don't care if it doesn't actually exist in the anime universe. Do it! Do it, you fucking cowards! It pings for a fucking damage! Do that one! But yeah, uh, that's how the episode ends. Other thing that was kind of just like, what? We get Gyu's backstory, I guess. We see the interactions with the brother. And we see that, like, it was already self-aware and was able to be excited and happy. And it's just grieving like Jinky, so it wants to carry on the guy's will. And it's kind of one of those things to where it's like, uh, I keep saying that I want bad guys to be bad guys. But part of that is that I think bad guys should have good motivations and relatable motivations. Because what makes, in my opinion, a really good villain scary is that moment when you realize that this could be anybody. Anyone could make that turn into darkness. Anyone can make that turn into evil. 
But what makes a hero is that they don't do that. They take whatever pain and trauma and fears they have and concentrate it into doing the right thing where the villain does not. But again here, it's just a fucking AI. It's just another evil AI story. And the fact that you then add things like, oh, well, now it has m motivation and shit. This is like the new Disney villain problem where it's just given a relatable backstory and that's it. They don't build on it. They don't do anything with it. It's just, I did this because my sexy creator guy died. And that's it. You're just supposed to feel sorry for me for it. Why did I say sorry like that? I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that's just kind of where we're at right now. You have a very poorly written bad guy who is not scary versus a hero. And it pains me to say this because a lot of times I do like you, you, you use not very well written. Kind of the problem with this guy. And the more I thought about it, the more it kind of became clear when we first meet you, you, his sort of thing is that he's got to kind of learn to be strong willed and stand up for himself and have goals and dreams of his own, not always just let himself be picked on or walked all over by his sisters. That is a good starting point, but you kind of need to go in more interesting directions with it. Effectively, you use arc is that as he gets stronger, I guess it's that he develops more of like a temper maybe, but they don't really put him in scenarios where he can kind of like grow from a lot of these things. The only one was with Toya in season one, but after that, he kind of never really goes anywhere. He kind of just learns to be like stronger and braver. And that's sort of it until they introduce this idea with this arc of he can get so angry, which again, we saw with Toya that he can get so like angry that he can lose his top and like make mistakes because of it. Again, you can do something with that, but the groundwork hasn't really been there. He has like, for the most part, no real flaws. He's just always kind of like the good guy. Again, his literal only flaw was that he wanted to just make other people happy too much. That's not all that interesting. He doesn't really have any goals or motivations instead of just, despite of just like card fighting with everybody. And well, that's not a very good character for all of Aichi's flaws. For a lot of times when he's written well, I feel like the point is that he wants friends. He wants to move forward. He wants to grow as a person, but it doesn't feel that desperate out of Yu Yu. Like he's not as shy or as introverted. He kind of just meets everyone and everything is sort of just like there for him. He's kind of just that for the rest of the show. And, but that's not really good storytelling. So to do it, they introduce this idea that he can like lose his temper very well, very heavily. So therefore logically the arc should be that he needs to learn to control his emotions so they don't control him. And you could relate that to what is going on here. Giyu tries to suppress people's emotions and individuality so that way they'll become more efficient. Yu Yu is an example of he is not efficient because of his individual flaws as a person. Uh, so he, but showing that he can control them without help should be his arc. But instead they squander it by making it that it's all about, oh God, I'm a uniformer and identifying himself as with the villains. It doesn't really work because you didn't really set up that he's like that. Like all of the seasons, you should have been building to that if you wanted that to be your thing. All his interactions with Donji, Toya, Megumi, Tamari, that is why you have side characters. Side characters need there to propel the narrative. And your protagonist is supposed to be the embodiment of the narrative. But instead of Yu Yu being that, he mostly just sat around and fucked off for multiple episodes while side characters hijacked the story for their own one to two episodes mini arcs that didn't play into anything. And it's now resulted in I'm following a protagonist who has basically done nothing except just kind of exist while more interesting things have happened around him. This is why in Yu-Gi-Oh! protagonist boss monsters and their ace decks get so much fucking support because the understanding is the main character needs to propel the story forward. Yu-Yu should have been the one to fight Megami. 
Yu Yu should have at least been there when Mirai saved her handler or whatever the fuck. Yu Yu should have been the one going through the character arcs, not everything being mini vignettes that didn't build into anything. And it has now resulted in just whatever the fuck is in front of me. So yeah, that was this episode. I'm sorry. Once again, it was kind of negative. I didn't want it to be. I wanted this to just be our finale analysis, but now we got one more fucking episode. Jesus Christ. But yeah, give me your thoughts about that in the comments section below. And as for the Vanguard question of the week, as we saw set 13, I think it's set 13, right? Is going to be fucking insane. <laughs> I know last week I said the new youth wasn't great, but holy shit, that new support makes it fucking busted. I am very excited for that. And what are you excited for from that set? Give me that in the comment section below. And as always, click to like, click to subscribe, and join me next week for what I think is actually the...